guys. It's Lisa from Lisa's Painting Parties, and I'm so glad that you'll be joining me tonight. Um, tonight we're doing a live paint party. Um, I didn't share an image with you because I'm going a little rogue this week, and I'm going to be doing um, my version of a um, book shelf that has lots of different things and a lot of interesting little creations on it, and I'm going to be painting as I go with it. So um, if you'd like to paint along with me, you can feel free to, um, or you can watch this and then you can decide if you want to do it after you check, check it out. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, kind of like a back to school kind of vibe. I felt, felt book shelf like today, so <laughs> we're going to do something like that. Um, I am using a canvas that I'm, I'm reusing. Um, so you'll kind of see a little bit of image on here, but please don't or just ignore that. Um, I am going to paint right over it. So I do have like a coating of white on it and I'm going to edge with the rest of the colors and stuff on it that I won't be able to see it anyway. So it'll be all good. Um, so I'll walk you through and then we'll kind of go from there. Um, like I said, anyone who's just joined, I'm going to be painting like a book shelf. Um, so it'll be lots of books and lots of little odds and ends on there. And I'm going to be painting as I go. So it's a little bit of a different uh, paint party experience if you're planning to paint with me in the moment live with me now. Um, I will show you and then you can um, do the same thing as I go. Um, and if you're painting with me um, and you've already seen the finished product, if you're watching this in the future, um, then um, then you'll have even a better time because you'll know what the end result will look like. Um, so if you're joining me today, feel free to um, let me know where you're tuning in from. It's been um, a little while since I've done a live uh, paint party. Um, just for anyone who um, has been following me and who um, has been joining my weekly live paint parties, um, hello and thank you so much for doing that. Um, so what I'm changing to is I'm changing to a monthly uh, free uh, live uh, Facebook event. Um, things have gotten busier uh, with my full-time job, which is not, unfortunately, art. Um, so I'm doing that. And also I've had a few uh, paid uh, painting gigs on the side as well, which have been really great. Um, but that's made my free time a little bit um, more constrained, <laughs> So, which is why I'm moving to um, one free um, Facebook painting party every month. So it'll be the first Wednesday of every month at 6.30. Um, and going forward, um, my plan is to have the image of what we're going to be doing to tell you in advance. Um, it's just tonight, again, is a little a little different. Um, hi, Diane. Hi, Joe. I'm glad you're joining. It's nice to see familiar names. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Colleen. Amazing. Fantastic. So yeah, so I'm glad that you're all joining. So feel free to say hi. I'm here um, just outside of Toronto, Ontario. I'm in Ajax. Um, it's about half an hour from Toronto and it's a pretty nice day today. My son went back to school yesterday, so he was excited and nervous to go back, but it all went well, which was nice. So if anyone's out there who has kids or grandkids that are heading to school, if you yourself are a teacher, thank you for being a teacher. And I hope you had a great uh, first day back. Um, or anyone who's a school administrator and whatnot. Um, hope everything is going well for you too. Um, I know in the States, some of you guys start like significantly earlier than we do or have different like modified or different schools. I shouldn't say modified, it's like different school schedules. With all of us, we always start the Tuesday after Labor Day. So that's what was happening over here. Um, the comments don't like self load, which is very frustrating. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Carol. Hi, Sugar. Hi, Sharon. Awesome. So yeah, I'm just going to have to like kind of veer off a little bit at the time just to take a look. It used to like show so nice and easily, but I don't know, Facebook loves to make little upgrades and like surprise me. But granted, I haven't done a live for a while, so that's kind of my own fault. Awesome. And again, so this is a completely live um, uh, event, so um, you are not required. So sometimes like people go into the comments and they start being sketchy and try to get you to click links. So please don't do that. Um, you don't have to pay anything. If you do want to leave me a tip, there's a link there. You do not have to, but if you'd like to, that's how you can do something directly for me. Um, but if anything comes up to like berate you for stuff, like just ignore it. <laughs> don't click. It's been pretty good lately. Um, so hopefully we won't have to deal with any of that fun stuff. And yeah, all right. So I think um, we're going to give it another couple of minutes just in case there's anyone who would like to paint. If you want to paint along with me, what you're going to need 
is you're going to need a canvas any size. I'm using a 12 by 16 canvas. And like I said, again, you might have missed it just before. You might see that there's some image. I did use this for a previous paint party that I did in person, and I just covered it with a layer of white paint, which is why you see an image. But I'm not doing that image. I'm doing my own different thing on top. But you can just ignore that if you notice that um, as I'm painting. Um, I have acrylic paint. That's the paint I use. If you have your basic colors, your primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, and you have black and white, you can paint anything that I'll paint. I'll always speak from that perspective, so I'll tell you what to mix to get what you need. However, if you have a variety of colors that you want to dip into, you can go ahead, and I'll always say the colors that I'm using as I go. The brands of paint that I use are I use two different brands. I use this called Crafters Acrylic from Deco Art. It's from the Dollarama. It was like a dollar per bottle. And this dries in a matte finish. And then I also have been using this one called uh, Flow Acrylic from Artists Loft. And um, this, they, the names are just basically yellow, red. They're very like plain and simple names. Um, and this uh, dries with like a shinier finish. And also I find I need to use less paint and I get more coverage. So it's definitely a better quality, it seems, than um, the Dollarama one, which makes sense. Um, and it wasn't too expensive, so I got this from Michaels. So those are the paint brands and what I use. I also have a stack of paper towels. So often what I do is when I'm painting, I don't actually um, use water a lot of the time. I try to keep my brush fairly dry or just using paint. I find the water ends up just like watering it down too much, and I don't like that uh, uh, when I'm painting. So what I'll do is as I'm going through the process, I'll uh, try to be as verbal as possible to let you know when I'm wiping my paintbrush with the paper towel versus when I'm actually like cleaning the color fully off with the water. So I'll tell you about that as I go. Um, for paint brushes, I suggest having at least a couple different sizes available. Um, you want to have something that's going to give you a lot of coverage on your canvas. So I usually use like a, a number 10 or a number 12 flat brush. Um, and then I use like a medium brush, like a number eight or a number four. I have another one that's a little bit smaller. This one's actually a zero, but kind of a weird to be a zero and then this one's a fine point brush so just to get some more detailing and whatnot so I just have four right now but again it's uh, as long as you have a variety at least you have, as long as you have three that's like a, a large a medium and a, a fine point you're good to go and then I, like I said I have water containers as well because um, acrylic is water-based so we want to uh, use water whenever we need it for that all right let me just take a look because again it like pops it up but I can't see the last comments darn it Hi, Penny. Hi, Mary. I'm glad that you're here, too. Yay. Oh, and Carol works at Hobby Lobby. Fantastic. So you know all the ins and outs, which is fantastic, and you probably get some good deals, hopefully. Um, so that's really great. We don't have a Hobby Lobby up here, as long, well, at least not um, in the Toronto area. I haven't seen a Hobby Lobby. So you guys are lucky with that. <laughs> so we're, we're, we have our Michaels, and we have our Dollarama. Um, we used to have another one. Oh, we have Desairs as well, but I think that one's closed the one that was close to me closed the one that was in Pickering but anyways all right let's get started so I'm going to move my camera so you can see my um canvas a little bit better as I go and then um let me just scroll a little bit further kind of see it a little more like I said like now you can kind of see so yeah the painting that was on here was like of a vineyard <laughs> so I did a vineyard painting for um we did a paint party at a vineyard um out in uh, Orono, Ontario, which is about half an hour from me, and that was super fun. It was actually really funny because um, it was really quite windy, and it got a little bit intense. We had to, like, get everything and move inside, and just as we moved inside, it started pouring, <laughs> so it was really good we went when we did. Otherwise, it would have been um, a full disaster, but prior to that, the wind was blowing, and the canvases kept, like, blowing off the, the sides constantly, and it was a, a bit of a bit of a kerfuffle but everyone was really great we all kind of just like went along with it and had fun all right so what we're going to start with is I'm going to get just right into it and I'm going to start um by putting in a um putting like a base of a shelf in that's what I want to start with and the way I want this to be is I want it just to be almost like a I'm, it's just going to have the actual, like, each shelf, and then it will have items on the shelf, and then, like, we'll have, like, another shelf, and then, like, items on the shelf, and then another shelf, and then items. So I think I'm going to do, like, three, like, three lines of, like, shelves, but I'm going to, like, build it up as I go. So this is going to be a different process than what I normally, or anyone who's painted with me before has done, um, because I'm going to just be building it as opposed to going in and doing, like, a full-on um, 
like a full like landscape painting where I start all the way from the base and go from there. So I, what I want to do is I want, I think at the bottom, I think I want my shelves to be like, um, probably like a brown. So if you have a premix brown, that's cool. Um, I ha I might have some, this is very low. I have cinnamon brown in my crafters acrylic deco art. If you do not have brown, you can mix equal parts of red, blue, and yellow. Um, and then you'll get a brown or like a brown grayish color. And that would work pretty well. So I do have a little bit of that left, so I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to use, put a little bit of black on my palette as well, because I want it to be a little darker. So my cinnamon brown, I'll bring it up, is pretty like, me, it's like a medium brown, which is cool, but I think I want it a little bit. So I'm going to start off by just getting like a nice shelf going. So I just want to put a line, essentially, at the bottom. And I think I'm just going to go with, um, about like a centimeter or two, maybe like like two centimeters, I guess. Just eyeball it about. I'm just gonna get a line in. get the sides of it too as I go. Try to remember to do that. Okay. So I want it to be as straight as possible. The bottom line I find is always the easiest one because you can kind of use the base of things as a guide. As we go up, we might want to use like um, a ruler or something else to help us with our lines. But honestly, if it's not like perfect, perfectly straight. I've never, I'm not really that upset about it. I'm going to add a little bit of black into it. So I just put brown first and I'm just getting a little bit of black and I'm just running a few little streaks in still with the same brush. Again, I'm using the same brush this whole time. I haven't put any water on it and I'm just kind of going back and forth with the black. I don't want it to blend fully. I just want to smear it a bit to kind of almost get it, get it, make it feel like it's like a green, like a wood green just the vibe of it. I don't, it doesn't need to be perfect. Just have a little bit of texture into it. That's all I want to do right like that. Cool. Perfect. So there we go. I'm good with that. Now I think I'm going to retire my big brush. So at this point, I am actually just going to use the paper towel before I stick it in the water, just because I don't want to make my water super, super dark immediately. That was the only reason why I did it that way, which is a little different than before. Okay, so I'm going to go with one of my medium brushes. I think I'm going to go with this one, the smaller medium brush. And I'm going to pick, I don't know, a color that is calling me. I think I'm going to go maybe, let's start with maybe like a blue. And that's going to be the color of my first book on my shelf. Okay. And I'm just going to, so I think my shelf is going to be, my book, hmm. how big do I want my books? Maybe, maybe I don't want it to be. Maybe I want only like two shelves. Yeah, I think I just changed my mind. I think I'm going to just do it like that. Yeah, I'm going to have like maybe two shelves. I have one shelf at the bottom and then I'm going to have one shelf at the top-ish. It doesn't have to be the middle. I don't really care if it's equal or not. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to start. I'm going to get a book. So I just want to put a line kind of where I want that book to live. Okay, and then I'll just start thickening it up a little bit. This one's going to be pretty straight. The blue that I was using for this one is, this is the one I grabbed. It's Peacock Blue from Deco Art by Crafters Acrylic, or Crafters Acrylic by Deco Art, I should say. And again, I want to sort of bring it down. I'm just doing it, I'm eyeballing the lines. If you don't like to do that, that's totally fine. You can use a ruler and even like pre-draw the lines in of where you want your items. Again, I'm doing this um, kind of just just by what I'm feeling right now. I have like um, an image that I found online and I'm using it just as um, 
inspiration of like how the books should look, but I'm changing up like everything about them. And there's a few other images that I'm playing with as well. So I'm taking a few different concepts from a couple of um, reference sources. So it's not just not looking at one person's thing and doing it. I'm looking at a couple different ideas and I'm putting it together the way I want to. So I'm just making it pretty solid. And this part I would say is, I don't know it would be considered like the boring part, but I just want to put in all my books right now. So that's one of my books there. And then I want to put in another book. So let's get another color that's going to go beside it. I just wipe my brush off with a paper towel. Um, now let me think. Like, Do I want to go crazy with the colors? I think so. My bookshelf is pretty colorful and eclectic, so I'm going to grab my orange. This orange is uh, Crafters Acrylic, also Deco Art, and it's called Pure Pumpkin. You can also mix orange as well. So if you mix your red and your yellow together, you can do it that way. And I think the next book I'm going to make, I think it's going to be a little fatter and it's going to be a little shorter. So let's bring it out a little bit. That one's going to be a little fat book. Yeah, like that. I'm just going to put this in. And I'll put some, I'll make it, I'll add more detail to my books after I kind of have the placement of what I want and how I want them to be. And I think that they're going to be like pretty much touching. I just want to be cautious because I don't want it to go over. I don't want the, to pull the blue into my orange. So I might even leave a slight gap. I have like a very slight gap between them just because I'm probably I think I'm going to go back in at the end and add like a black line around it. What is happening on my phone? I have no idea. I usually don't have my phone. <laughs> close to me. I'm using my phone to show the um, the reference images that I'm using as I'm going through this. But normally I flip it. Like my phone has this function that if you flip it so that the front of the phone is down, it's like quiet. <laughs> That's usually the case when I'm doing these painting parties. It's throwing me off now that it's sending me notifications. Okay, let's look back a little bit to make sure it's the way I want it. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to keep going with this. Okay, let's add another book to my bookshelf. Let's see, what color should this book be? I'm feeling yellow. I think it should be yellow. So I'm going to get some yellow. It's like a boring process. <laughs> this girl is just drawing a bunch of rectangles on her canvas. This one, I think I want it to be a little taller. I love reading. I think my favorite genre, I definitely enjoy mysteries and um, or like suspense books, but I also really enjoy nonfiction, but particularly nonfiction of people who have gone through like true crime things. <laughs> I really enjoy listening to people's stories about different situations that they've been in or things that potentially could be, could have been suspenseful. I definitely like knowing that they've already gone through and everything's okay. That makes me feel better about it. <laughs> but, uh, I, yeah, I definitely like that. Okay. So we have a few that are like that. Okay, cool. I think I want to add, don't want to maybe change it up now. Maybe put like a sideways book of some sort. I think I do. I think I want one that's like leaning slightly. Maybe that one will be in pink. Let's do that.
Hey, Karen. I am painting um, a bookshelf. And we are placing all the books on the bookshelf right now. And there'll be other items on our bookshelf as well. Now, for this one that's going to be here, I'm just going to kind of place my line where I want the angle to be. Because the angle needs to still make sense. It can't be like curvy. That won't be very logical. And then when we do a book that is on the side here, it's going to have to, it is going to touch essentially, it has to be leaning against this other one. Okay. Okay. It's going to, the top of the book is going to be out like this. Okay. On a bit of an angle. And then we're going to bring it down. And it's also going to be kind of on its side there. So it's not going to hit the bottom. This lovely rectangle, just going to be point to point like that. I think I actually did a puzzle like this a long time ago with a bunch of books on a shelf. It's reminding me of that. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, now let's continue on. Let's see what else do we want to put on here. I think I want to, do I want to continue doing some more books? I think so. I think we'll do a few more. And maybe we'll have a few, like, I don't know if I want them to be flat. Maybe I'll have a few that are flat, that are faced. Yes, I think that is what I want. Okay, let's do that. All right, let's think of a cover color. I think I want to go back to blue, but I'm going to use this tropical blue by Deco Art instead. Oh, the pink one too. The pink one was 2D Fruity. It's the one I was using. You can always mix red and white as well if you want to make your own pink. Okay. So I'm going to still use the same paintbrush. Now I want to... So I want... Okay, so I'm going to do the like the jacket of the book. So that's going to be... I think I'm going to have it so you can see the pages of the book. That's what I want. So we just want it to be a thin kind of like that. And then we need it to go the same at the top. I'm just going to thicken it up slightly. And try just to round the end a little bit, but I'll probably go back and adjust it a little bit more after I add all the pages to it. Now I'll just thicken this up slightly as well. Okay, so it's the book. Okay. It's our pretend bookcase. We can do whatever we want with it, which is fun. I'm going to add a little bit of white to my palette. So I do want to get the pages, but the pages aren't going to be like a pure white. I'm going to start with white. And then I'm going to add a little bit of like black to it, I think get it a little gray and then we'll add more detail to it afterwards. A 
I'm just being cautious because I don't want to pull the blue into it. If it does a little bit, it doesn't, it's not too bad. We can always fix it. It's not a big deal. And then the edge, I think we're just going to, again, we'll give it some texture once we put like a, a lining around it. Okay, so just fill them in with white, which is good. I'm going to get like a little smidgen of black on my paintbrush. And I'm just going to start to put a few little, I'm going to start to make it a little bit gray. Okay, but I don't want it too much. So my paint is still quite wet. I still want it to be very light, but I just want to add a little bit just to dirty it up a little bit. I'm going to keep it still going horizontally. Except for here, because that's trickier to get there. I don't want it to go in my blue. There we go. I think that's good. All right, so that guy's on its side. And then we're gonna put another one on top of it, I think. And then maybe this cover will be, hmm, purple. I have one called African Violet, also from Crafters Acrylic Deco Art. So I think I'm just gonna pop that if it isn't all dried out. Okay, there you go. And I'm going to do the same process that I did with the blue. So I'm going to add, I think I'm going to make this one a little fatter. I think so. Okay. And then, okay, so let's get the base of it. So I'm just going to bring a line across. I want it to be, I think, almost the same size as my last one. I don't know if I want it to be exactly the same size. I definitely don't want it bigger. I want it to sit on top and a little smaller. Here, this book has more substance to it. Can always go in and touch it up with a thinner brush afterwards if we're not digging certain aspects of it. Oh, fantastic, Karen! Absolutely. Like I said, this one's kind of a off the cuff, a little bit different than what I normally do. Normally, I'll have like an, an an image or a photo or something that we're working off of. This I'm doing on the fly today because that's kind of my mood today. I was kind of feeling. Feeling like being a little spontaneous. And the idea of like coming up with something beforehand was not, I wasn't feeling it. So, decided to try something different. I'm excited about it. I'm just filling this in with white. And I'm going to do the same thing I did um, the one below it. I'm just going to get a smidgen of black. And I'm going to start just to put like little lines in that I'm then going to now use a paper towel and get rid of most of that again. 
but I'm just going to blend it in with the wet paint that already exists on here. So my brush is pretty dry right now, but the white paint is still wet on the canvas. And then now that now that it's very dry, like it's kind of fully dried, I'm getting a bit more white paint on my brush. Getting a little bit more white paint on my brush. Just bring it back in. Okay, so it kind of has some nice pages looking right there, which is cool. Okay, then I think I want to end the bookshelf here with maybe like two more books. So let's maybe do one in, I'm feeling green. I think I want to do it in green. I have a hunter green, but you know what? I also have one, the one that's just called green from the flow acrylic is a little brighter. The hunter green is very dark. So I think I'm going to use this one, the one from flow acrylic. And now let's just get another book over here. Um, okay, so let's just put in a line of where we want it to live. Kind of there. And we'll just thicken it up however we want it to be. So there we go, a green, a little green book, and then I think I want to do another one beside it, and then maybe, I think I want it in, in that blue that we did before, I think I want it in blue, and I think it'll be a little taller. I like that. So we have a first shelf kind of done. Not done yet, obviously. I want us to put lots of more detail on the books and make it look a little bit more impactful, maybe put something on top, I'm not sure. But I think at this point, I want to stick in my next shelf. That's the plan. And then we'll put some more books on there. And then we'll do some nice details, yay. Absolutely, yeah. I'll definitely post the end picture, Sugar. So when I'm done, I'll do a post and I'll take a picture of it so you'll be able to see what it looks like when it's all done. Absolutely. Okay, so let's... 
don't know how thick I want it. I don't think I want it too thick. You know what? I might use this brush. This one that's the medium. I think it's the number eight brush is the one I'm going to use. And um, I think I want to use a guide of some sort. Um, what do I have that I can grab? Let me see. Ah, okay. I'm going to use the painting I have. Okay. Perfect. So, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to line up my line where I want my shelf to live and then I'm going to paint along it. Um, can I do this like this? I think I can actually. Yeah, I think I can. As long as I get a, a, a guide then I'll be all right. She said as she made a weird line. Continue it on the side for funsies. I do want to thicken it up a bit. It's a little too thin for my liking. Okay. So I'm still I'm using the brown that I used on the shelf below. kind of went a little bit a little weirdly there but maybe we'll just fix that up afterwards I'm not sure if I want to keep the background white or not we might change that up so I'm not going to worry about that just yet and then I'll take care of the brown lining afterwards okay mm -mm -mm -mm. that's got a little bit of black on it and then we'll just streak it through a bit of a line on. Yeah, that line's really bothering me. I think I'm going to have to just still fix up the background just because it's going to bother me, I think. If I don't, even if it's going to stay white, but I think I need to. <laughs> no, I went too far up. That's okay. That's still going to need a little bit more, but that's okay. We can fix it up in a little bit. Oh, thank you, Heather. Okay, so now on this top shelf, 
now, dun, dun, dun. I do want some more books, but I might want some other things on here too. What things should we put on our top shelf? Maybe a candle? That could be cool. Or like a plant. Maybe a candle and a plant and some more books. I think I'm kind of feeling something like that would be kind of cool. So yeah, I think that's what I want to play with. Any ideas, feel free to to let me know if you have a cool idea of what we should add to our book sh bookshelf. I, was, I still have the right to refuse it, though, just uh, letting you know. But <laughs> if you have an idea, definitely let me know. Okay, cool. Um, okay, I think to start, I think... I think I want to put like a plant here. I think that's what I want to start with, a plant. And then maybe more books or something. Books and then like something else here. Like a plant and like, like a candle or I don't know. I'm thinking something like that. Let's see. A kitten. I know I thought about a cat too. But I think that I, I, I have this. I feel like I, I've done either like a paint by number when I was a teenager of like this like a book thing but like a cat on it I think and I feel like I've done that or with like a puzzle and so I'm hesitant to do a cat so I'm like ah, I feel like that's not that it would be the same because I honestly can't remember how it would look but <laughs> okay um let's start with a a plant I think I want to do a plant a funky funky little plant Let's see. Okay. So I think I want the plant pot. I want it here. Maybe I want the plant on this side. I don't want the plant. No, I think I want it on this side. Okay, I'm going to put the plant on that side. Done. Okay, um, what's the pot going to be? Maybe like a really light, a gray could be cool. Maybe, I mean, no, I think I want to do like, so like a light brown, like a tanny, tanny brown color. So I'm putting some more brown on my palette. I need more white because I've already used my white. Okay, let's play with that. Okay, so for my plant pot, just gonna make my brown, which is still at cinnamon brown, but I'm just adding some white because I want it to be a little bit lighter. Okay, so let's make a base of a pot here. So I'm just gonna come like this, and then maybe a little plant. Oh, maybe they keep me a little cactus instead. I don't know. No, I think I want a plant that kind of like drapes over the edge of my shelf. That's what I think I want. Okay, so that's part of my pot like that. Cool. And then I'm going to add a bit of a lip to it. There's my pot. And I think at this point, I'm going to get a little bit of the brown, the darker brown, and just add a little bit, make it a little darker just underneath the lip. Add a line like that. And then it's going to be darker on this side of the pot too. And then also around the bottom here on this side. Just make it feel a little bit rounder. Ooh, what just happened? Okay. <laughs> Can you tell again? I'm not used to having my phone accessible at this point. Yes, I'm making an attempt to be relevant and on top of all the new social media apps and stuff that 
are available and that was one for one called be real which is like this new social media app that i think only like 20 year olds are on and younger but me being someone who just turned 40 this year is like holding on to my youth so i joined <laughs> I'm, gonna put a, I'm putting a little bit of white as well, just putting a few little highlights on this. And then also some of the brown, a darker brown, just to add a bit of, see if I can make it look a little bit like, let's see, like, you know, three dimensional, not just flat. We'll see. Just as long as it has a bit of a vibe to it, it's all good. It's not perfect, it's fine. Oh, sorry, I missed some comments. I'm so sorry. And it keeps like flipping it up. That's really annoying. Oh, a picture frame. That's a great idea, Heather. And Vicky. Aw, thanks, Vicky. Sorry, I just popped it away. I was reading a part of your message and it's like, what the heck, man? Aw. Thank you so much, Vicky. That's a really sweet message. I'm really glad that painting with me helps that. It's really great. I know, that's what I love about painting, too. It just keeps me in the moment. Oh, Heather, you're going to be 40 soon, too. You're an 82 baby like me. That's awesome. I'm old. I'm a March. I'm March '82 baby. <laughs> Year of the dog, 1982. All right, cool. Let's get some plant life in place. Oh, that really made my day. Thank you for sharing that, Vicky. That's really sweet. And thank you for the stars. I really appreciate it. Oh, hey, Cynthia. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that you uh, shared it. Oh, no problem, Marilyn. Hi, Stephanie. Okay. Now, I think I might use... I don't know if I want to use this one. Yeah, you know what? I think I am going to use this one. Okay, so I want to get some green, but I want to make my green a little lighter. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to my green instead of using white because I find white when I'm trying to do plant life if I add white to the green I sometimes do but I just feel like it makes them look kind of blah I prefer to like lighten my green with yellow and I feel like it looks a little bit more natural that's just my own preference okay so this plant is one of those, I don't even know what they're called. I'm sure someone does know what, it call, what it's called. Once I start painting it, maybe you'll know, or maybe you'll just be like, that doesn't look like anything, and that's okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna start doing it. So these leaves are kind of like, like, like spoon kind of shape. So they're kind of, or teardrop shape. So they're kind of circular and it kind of dips down. And I'm just gonna put some leaves I, I should actually probably do the stem first, but I'm not going to because I'm a rebel. And I'm just going to do it this way and then. So it's going to come down. A painting rebel. <laughs> I don't think anyone would, would describe me as a rebel in any capacity anyone who knows me will be like mm, no I'm such a rule follower it's uh <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> I can't help myself okay I'm gonna just keep going with these like a little bit on either side like that um, and then I am looking at a reference, so that's why I keep looking back. But I can't show the reference because I think that would be like a copyright thing, so I don't want to break any rules. So we'll have to deal with this. 
Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, then I have one. I'm gonna come this way. Picture frame's a good idea. I don't know if I wanna like. I guess we have to draw then. Maybe we should like paint a painting inside the picture frame if we do a picture frame. That would be very. Uh, very deep painting for today. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be the trajectory of it. And I'm going to put like a line, but not right yet. We're gonna just going to do that for now. And then I'm going to do some more of these leaves. Leaves? Sure. Sure, they're leaves. Yeah, okay. And then this one's going to, this is the tip of this other one. And then I'm going to do another one. So I'm kind of like pushing down my brush to get like a blob and then I'm going sideways in to get like a more of a fine tip point. It's so like a blob and then that's how I'm doing these ones. That maybe was not the best example there, but that's okay. Now when we come this way, I'll put another one like here. Like that. And then maybe I want one that comes down too. This one's gonna go down to the other. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna start down here though. I'm gonna do like a blob. This one's a really big leaf. It's like hanging. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another one here. Or vine, the vine is. Long. So it looks like I'm going to have to go over again on the brown because I'm not going to see the brown come through on my green. <laughs> it's definitely trickier doing it like this in this one. I feel like my angle isn't as controlled. That's okay. I'll just go with it. If it turns out cool. Great. If it doesn't, it's okay. Now I'm kind of gonna come that way. I think maybe we'll have like another one coming this way, like as if it's just like kind of sticking out behind it. Maybe there's like another vine going. And then we have another one like here. Okay, we got like a funky little, funky little plant happening on the top. Oh, I love it. Y'all are so sweet to each other. I love it. It's like the best thing about this, and what I love most is this community that we've been able to create which has been fantastic from all over the place it's so nice I just added a little bit of yellow because I was getting low um okay so I think what I want to do it's I'm gonna add a little no you know what I think I'm gonna no 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 sorry <laughs> 
I'm going to add a little bit of black to my green just to make it a little darker. And then I'm going to start, I want to put in like the, like the line that connects it all. So I'm going to go up just slightly on top of my leaf and then I'm going to do the same here. Do the same there and then bring my line down and try to be thin. Maybe it might be easier to use like the thinnest brush. I'm using like the almost my thinnest brush. Um, but I'm just using like if if you have like a fine or a flat brush, I should say, if you get the paint on it, it becomes like very thin, like and very fine. So like you can get a nice in line with it sometimes <laughs> sometimes I uh, it does not work very well with me either but today it's it seems to be I seem to be maneuvering it well I'm not sure about that one. It feels like it's hanging off weirdly. There's still some more we can do with those little leaves. I think we can make them a little darker in some spots, maybe a little lighter in some spots, just to give it a little bit of texture. And then again, we'll go back down and like, I'm still looking at these books and they're not fully done yet. feel weird when I'm doing details somewhere else and then I'm like oh, I still need to go down there so I just got a little bit of a a light green I did put a little bit of white into it this time just to so I can do a bit of a highlight I want it to be a little bit noticeable struggling a little bit with it. It's not showing up the way I wanted it to. Okay, there we go. A little bit. Just want to add a little curve. And some of the leaves. Okay, and then I think I'm going to go a little darker and then we're going to do the same kind of thing, only giving a little bit of shadow. Okay. Okay, 
So it just adds a little bit more. I might even put a little bit of yellow, actually. You know, some of those plants are so pretty, and they have, like, different kind of colors that come into them. I think maybe just put a little drop of yellow, I think, will make it look really pretty. Yeah, I'm digging that. That's cute. Uh, like I said, I don't even know if this plant exists in real life, but... My plant... I've seen plants that have these elements, so, you know. But I'm not... I'm definitely not doing a specific plant, so. Okay. Cool. Maybe, you know what, actually, I think I want a little bit here, right here. I don't know if I missed them or if it just didn't come out very well. I do want the yellow to kind of pop a little bit. Yeah. Pop, pop. Pretty. Okay, that plant's adorable. And I love it so much. Okay, cool. Ooh, a jar is not a bad idea. I like that. That's not bad, too. I definitely still want more books on the top, too. But I don't know. I don't know how I want them. I still want to put, like, another element of some sort. I guess I could put something, like, here, too, I suppose. Or I could hide something here. That could work. That could work. I like that. I definitely want more books on the shelf. If you look at my shelf at home, there's way too many books. <laughs> um, but yeah, one of the elements in one of these um, images that would be kind of cool, I just don't know if I want to go into that much detail. There's like, um, one of the images have like a, like a whole, like a, like a cup or like a jar, and it has like pencils and pens and paintbrushes and stuff, and that could be kind of cute. Maybe we could do something like that. I'm not sure. I think we need to put more books in. Let's get more books in, and then we will decide. Um, so I think... Yeah, I think I want to do some more books here. Maybe like another like kind of row of books. Or maybe they'll be flat. I'm not sure yet. You know what? Maybe we'll jump down and we'll play with these for a bit until I decide what I want to do up there because I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that yet. Um, yeah. That's a good idea. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do that. So... I did also want to add like a little like ribbon on like one of these. I think we'll do that ribbon in red. Um, no, we'll use this red. This red is the one from Artist Loft. Okay. So I'm using my thin brush, and then how? We're just going to go like this. We're going to make it come down and then in the middle. Do we like that? I don't know if I want it to be as, I think I'll want to take away a little bit of how pointy it is in the middle. Yeah, I think that's cute. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the other one needs one too. I don't think so. Not all. Not all of them need it, right? Okay. Now I think we should add a little bit of detail 
on our books. So I think let's start with this blue one here. I think I want to I'm just gonna add a, I'm gonna use the same blue that I used for the book, but I'm just putting a little bit of white in it just to make it a little bit lighter. Okay. And then we want to so usually like the here and the inside this would be a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to run this down. Pretty solid, but I am making it a little messy like on the ends. I just want to make like a bit of a highlight down the spine, the middle of the spine of the book. Okay, and I'm going to get the original blue and I'm just going to go around the edges of it just to bring it back in and pull it towards the middle. Need more of that blue. Because right now I can see like when I originally did this guy. my paint strokes are coming down the sides of it and I want to make it a little curvy to make it feel like ooh, be careful to make it feel like it's an actual like curved bind Gonna go back and with a lighter color. Just add a little bit more with it. And you kind of do it until you feel like you're happy with it. Which maybe that's not the best advice because if you're anything like me, <laughs> I end up just keep painting until I don't like it anymore. So you have to kind of like just stop after a while and be like, okay, hey, that's it. Let's just move on and then go back to it. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever like happy with it. I'm usually happy with it. Like I walk away from it or I come back the next day and I'm like, oh yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I'm fine with it. But in the moment, it's always uh, a bit of a, a back and forth. Okay, cool. So I think with this guy, so I'm happy with that. I like how I have that glow in the center. Um, and I might not do that with all of them, but I do like it with that one. I definitely want to do it with a, with a few of them. I think with this one, with this orange one. Um, hmm. How do I want to do this one? Okay, I definitely do want it to be a bit lighter as well, so I'm going to put a bit of yellow into it. Okay, I'm going to make it lighter down the middle again. I think, I think. Oh, that's really, I'll just go with yellow. I feel like this brush is a little too small for what I'm doing right here. Let me just switch it up. Okay. There we go. 
That's better. I'm going to go down the center and then I'm just going to go back and forth with it. Again, this is still kind of like before we do some details to really make them look like books. It's just to give it some shadow and light and dark just to make it look more realistic. Um, okay, and then with this yellow guy, I think we're going to use some white. I might, you know, I might, I might do this to all of them and then we'll play with it afterwards. Let's just do white down the center. Okay, and I do need more yellow. And this yellow I'm using is bright yellow from Deco Art. I'm just going to pop some yellow back in on the sides. adds a bit of a glow and some texture to that book which is good. We'll do the same thing with the pink. It's funny, I said I wasn't going to do it on all of them, and I think I'm digging it a lot, so I am going to keep going with this. So I'm just using that original pink on the sides and then bringing it in. Just blending it a little bit just to give a nice spine to my books. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the green. Um, I think I'm going to go with yellow to make it a little lighter. green. Okay. And then I'm just, I'm bringing it just down like this green I have initially on here is pretty, um, see-through. So, I definitely want to make sure that it looks good. But I think with the blend, it actually, even if you can see through it a little bit, it actually is all right. It works nicely. Okay. And then the light blue, I'm going to use some white in the blue, which looks like it's pretty much dried. Find the crafters acrylic dry very quickly. Especially when they're on the palette waiting for me to use it. Versus the um the other one, the one from Artist Loft, it doesn't dry as fast. Down it and bring it in 
just mix it a little bit. Okay, cool. Okay, so that looks much nicer. Oh, thank you, everyone. Yeah, absolutely, Stephanie. Absolutely. That would be really cute. I think, it, yeah, that would be cute to put a cat on there. <laughs> I'm a little scared. <laughs> but maybe, maybe we'll do that. I still want to put more, some more bucks on top. But a cat would be really cute there. That's true. Okay. So we got the binding. I like the way the books are looking. I guess we could even have like like a bookmark or something hanging off one of the sides of it. That'll look really cute too, I think. Okay. Now I want to put like a little bit of detailing on the books. I don't know if I am going to actually put um, titles or whatnot. I think I might leave that and you can add your own if there's certain ones that you absolutely love. But I think I do want to put in some of the um, elements of like what we see on books like the stickers and whatnot that we see so like here I'm just gonna put like a white kind of line here and then I think I'm gonna put like a white like square And then maybe we'll put another like line at the bottom. Maybe like two lines. You know some books have like little elements. Make them like fancy books. <laughs> Alright. And then maybe maybe I don't know. I don't know if all of them are gonna have it something. But Let's see, I'm looking at some of the examples on this, which is super cute. Um, <laughs> okay, maybe we'll do... Here, we'll do like a circle. I'm just using yellow. Oh. I just stopped sitting on the ground. I find it like very comfortable and then I also now I'm starting to find it more and more uncomfortable. <laughs> like I find it comfortable for the first half of the painting and then as I sit here for like an hour I'm like okay my knees don't know what to do with themselves. It's almost like I don't want to give it up though because I feel like once you stop sitting on the ground then that's it you know. <laughs> So we'll do that, and then maybe we do I do like a line in yellow up here. And we'll do another one. We'll do another box.
Okay, and then I think maybe I will leave the yellow book as is. Maybe we will. And then maybe the other one that's leaning will do. Okay, I'm just mixing. I'm just getting a little bit of a darker pink happening for this one. And I think we'll just do like, it's not really that much darker, is it? You know, just use red. And we'll just do like some lines coming down, like one, two, like that. Okay. Okay, and then the green book over there. Let's see. Okay, um, hmm. some lines and that looks pretty good I don't know if I want to do more on that one maybe a little bit maybe we'll just add a little one in the middle Maybe we'll keep it just like green instead of black though in the middle here. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay. And then the last one on the side. Do we want to put something on that guy? I don't know, maybe we'll leave that one blank too. I think so. I want to come back to this first one and then just make this white more white. Okay, so I like those much, much more. Hey, hi, Maryland. Or Mary Ann, sorry. Oh, thanks, Heather. A picture of a cat, maybe. <laughs> what, Heather? That? I think. I think maybe that could work. I feel a bit more confident if I, like, have, like, a little frame and then maybe we just, like, put a little cat inside of it. I feel like if I try to do one here, I'm a little, I'm definitely apprehensive about that. <laughs> Not going to lie. Okay. I kind of want to outline these books in like black, but at the same time, I'm a little worried it's going to end up being too harsh. So I don't think I'm going to do that just yet, though I can still see the background really clearly and I don't like that too much. So I might want to still paint a background. 
like actually fill in the back in a different color. Again, I'm not going to stress about that just yet. I think what I want to do now is I want to put some more books. Let me see. Some of my books are about this big. Yeah, they'll go right to Yeah, so we'll put some books. We'll put some more on the top. Let's do that. Okay, let's start with a... I think I'm going to have just a stack a few books here. And I'll put something else here. Yes. So I think I want... I don't know if I want one leaning over or just. Ba, ba, ba. I think I almost want a book slightly tilted here. And then I want a book. Maybe we'll start with like a sturdy book. Ugh, I'm worried about starting on this side. Okay, no. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's, let's just do it. Let's get it done. Okay. Um, what color? I'm thinking purple. I want to go with purple for like a leaning purple book. And maybe this one's just going to lean like slightly. Maybe this one's just going to be slightly leaning like this. angle at the top might be a little bit too extreme. Let's just soften it. Some more purple. went too far there but that's we'll fix it up maybe we'll just technically the book shouldn't be that side of the book shouldn't be touching the bottom of the shelf it should be a little bit higher but we'll just paint we'll fix it up afterwards so let's not worry about that just yet okay um, I'm going to get a little bit higher. Okay. Purple. I love purple. I think purple and red are my favorite colors, I think. I do. Okay, let's go with the next color. So what color should we do next? I'm feeling orange. I think orange. I need more orange on here though. Okay. And this one will be here and I'll be straight down. Orange, nice. Okay, and then I think after orange, I think blue. 
think we're going to go with like that lighter blue again. And we'll make this one like a little smaller and fatter. Okay, that's good. Um, wondering if we should leave it and then we'll do like a frame or something else on the side, or if we should put one more book. I think three is a good number for that. And it's like that one's leaning and that one's nice and sturdy. So I think three is okay. And then I think we can put something else here. I think that could work. I don't know if I want to do a frame with a cat. Maybe a frame with a cat. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay. Let's try. Or maybe even like we can get a frame in here and then maybe we can even get another book on the side or something. That could be kind of cute too. Okay, so frame. I think I want to do it almost like this kind of color again. Like a very light brown. A tan color. Almost. I think there's some red mixing in there too. Whatever. If it comes out a little light, it's okay. Okay, so we're just going to get a square going. Looks kind of pinkish, but that's okay. Yeah, it turned out a little bit more pink than uh, tan. Let me just. That's going to be a different color at the base. There is the frame. Okay. And of course we'll add more detail to it to make it look more realistic. But I think we should paint whatever we're going to paint on the inside of the frame. So if we want to do a cat, we could do a cat. We could do whatever you want, really. I think we will do a cat. I'm just going to look up a reference image. Um... So I can use something to go by. Oh, that's very cute. I kind of still want it to be cartoon-like. And those are freaking adorable. Okay. So I'm leaning towards doing my cat. I think. Hmm. I think like that's pretty cute. Okay. So I'm going to use. Okay. Do I want to do a background first? I think I do. So let's do a background. Um, I think I might still keep it like white, but I just want to maybe put a bit of yellow into it or something. I just need to again, the canvas normally we would prime the whole thing, but I didn't really want to because I wasn't sure how I wanted it to go with this. And uh, you can see the other painting that I covered over it in the background and so I definitely want to cover certain aspects of this. I can't see it. Yeah, I have a pet cat. It's 
big fluffy it's not that fluffy actually it's a tabby cat I guess I've had him we've had him for a long time he's probably like I think he's about 14 years old we got him when he was about one and we've had him for about 13 years so we're estimating that he's about 14. so i think i'll go with him in this picture but right now i just have a nice background nice yellowy background for now okay and then it will just dry for a bit. So I'm going to let that sit and I'm going to put another book or two on the side, I think. Um, I think I'm going to do, what color? Maybe green, just for like the balance. I think that will be good. And I want this green. Yes. I like that we've used like similar colors on both. And I like, I like how the blue is kind of... I don't know, it brings your eye, it kind of, you kind of have your eye dance around like the painting a bit, which I like. Okay, so let's get um, a book here, a green book. And you can put anything you want in the frame, really. I just looked up, like I said, a reference of like a, like a cartoon kitty. And I'll just use that as my reference. I think I'm going to change the colors in it, though. And a few of the parts of it just so I can make it look more similar to my cat although it's still gonna be like a cartoon so <laughs> okay and then I think I'm gonna put Maybe like one more book, but like off the edge here. Um, I think I'm going to go like red, but like, yeah, I think I'm going to go red and it's going to be like, Ooh, that's definitely not straight anywhere. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, so I think maybe we'll, again, play with the covers of the book again. Um, so that purple, I want to get a little bit of white. And just put a little bit of white, make that purple a little lighter so we can give it, it's the spine of the book, the same treatment we did down here. So we can kind of go like this all the way down and then just like dab. And then now we're going to get the purple and we're going to bring it down and then bring it in. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're going to use yellow. all the way down with a lighter shade of it and then we like smear it across okay and then we have to get the original blue Okay, green. That's right, I just got to get the yellow, I think. Okay, and then red. Very hard to see. Okay, and the regular red come down. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. Those are cute. They look good. Awesome. Oh, awesome. I'm glad y'all like it. Oh, it's 1 a.m. there. Oh my goodness, Hannah. That is definitely 
<laughs> Way too late to start painting. <laughs> All right. So nice, lovely bookshelf so far. Okay. Um, what time do we got? It's eight. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Eight twelve is not bad. It's been like, this hasn't been two hours yet. And we're like very close to being complete, which is awesome. So that's great. Okay. So I want to add again some details on my book, similar to what I did down here. Um, I think, um, yeah. So I think maybe I want to add details to my orange book. I think I'm going to use white this time for my orange book. I'm just going to put like a line. And I'm going to do like a few lines. Like five, I guess. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to do another line below it. Cute. And we'll do another line down here. Okay. Awesome. And then I think I want to do darker blue. So we're going to put like a box. Okay. We got you a little darker. A little bit. Okay. And I'm just gonna put a line underneath. Okay. And like two little rectangles at the bottom of this one. Not sure why. No, it looks alright, I guess. Maybe like a line on top of it. Okay. And then I think we'll do maybe we'll do the red one here. Maybe white, maybe not. I want to use like pink, but I'm not sure if it's going to come out. I'll try. gonna leave it like that for now and then I want to do let's do the outside frame so the frame um, I think we need like regular brown to like outline
Okay, that looks cuter. And I'm just kind of messing up my original lines a bit and just putting a little bit of brown to like just dirty up a little bit. Okay, and then I want to do that with white as well. Do like a little bit of like a I think I like that. Okay, and then now let us paint a cute little kitty cat in here. Should we just do the face? Probably just the face, maybe. Yeah, let's just do the face. Okay, let's do that. Oh, hi, Polly. Awesome. Okay. Um. I'm going to go with orange because my cat's orange. We'll see how that goes. So I'm just going to do a circle essentially. I'm going to fill it all in with the orange and then we'll go from there. ears. Okay. Cute. All right. And then let's get some white. Um... Slightly different color. And then let's 
putting little markings on my cat here. little eyes and then little nose And then I want to get a little bit of pink. If I know it's pink. Okay. And then I want to do a little cheekies. sure if I wanted to, but I think I do want to just make it a little bit, like a little curve. Yeah, I think like that. And I don't know if I want his eyes to look different. No, I think that's cute. I think that's fine. kind of in here. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we got a cute little kitty picture. We have our shelf looking pretty decent. Okay, so I think 
really the only other thing that I kind of would want to do is I want to like make the background a bit more um, opaque because right now I can still kind of see what's going on back there. But it's not like really, really necessary. Um, let's see if there's anything else we want to add to our bookshelf. Hmm. I don't know if we want to add any more. I've seen like a feather and something. I don't know if I want to put a feather on there. Not really feeling that. Maybe like a shell. I know one of them here has like a picture of a shell on it. It looks kind of cool. I don't know if like that would just be a little bit too much if I put like a shell on top of there. Hmm. I think I might leave it. I feel like if I add something else to it right now, it's not gonna look the way I want it to look. Mm-hmm. I think we're good. Another idea. Someone else's. Oh, that looks like a Harry Potter themed one. That's very cute. Okay, cool. There's lots of images online to get lots of ideas and to get distracted by. But I think for now, I'm going to call this complete. Yeah, I think so too. Thanks, Heather. Appreciate that. All right. So yeah, so I think... Okay, I'm just going to go back up here. You guys can see me for like a moment. All right. So there we go. So here is our bookshelf painting. Um, I th okay, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with it. I had thought maybe I might want to outline the books in black, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now. Um, I do think, actually, before we fully stop, I am going to get like a dark gray... And I do want to add a little bit of detail here. And I'm just going kind of like back and forth just to yeah and then I might pull a few more detailed thin lines this way. Yeah I think that's actually good. Put a few thin lines in here. Yes, I do like that. And I think I will outline this ribbon. I think just on that side of it. I don't think I'm going to do the top part of it. Yes, that does look better. I do like that. So maybe. So you may want to, you may not want to. Um, it's up to you whether you want to go and like do like a, a nice outline around them. Um, like I said, I think for me, I think I'm going to leave it as is for now. I might end up touching it later, but I think I'm definitely going to go back and fill in the background, but I won't do that on a live since it's not really necessary for you to see that process. Um, but for now, I'm going to call that complete. So I hope you had a great time painting along with me if you joined me for the painting process. Or if you just joined to watch, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, or if you're watching at a future, future date, please do. And um, regardless, if you do paint along, um, please take a picture of your painting and share it. Um, because I'd love to see how you've taken this and made it your own. If you change things up, if you put like a vase in there or a feather or a different type of plant or whatever else. So if you act, if you did attempt to put a full cat like leaning, I'm so excited. I'd love to see it. So please take a picture and share. Um, and um, like I said, yeah. So um, keep an eye. I'm doing some more um, uh, in-person parties in the area. So if you're in the Toronto area, Toronto area, um, definitely keep an eye out. And if you can come out to an event, that'd be fantastic. So I'd love to see you in person. Um, and I'll be doing the free paint parties once a month. So the first Wednesday of every month at 6.30 p.m. 
Um, and if I have time, hopefully, if things can come up, I might just pop up and do like a live randomly. Um, but we'll see how it goes. It's <laughs> been quite busy lately, so I don't know if I'll be able to commit to that, and I don't want to disappoint anyone by canceling them. So um, we'll stick for the once a month for now. Um, and that's about it. If you did want to hire me for a, a personal party, please reach out an email and um, let me know or DM me, and then we can talk about that as well. Um, have a great rest of your night and a great rest of your week, and take care. See you later, fan partiers. Bye.